Valorians, welcome back to my channel. So before we jump into today's video and me spilling a little bit tea of how I got myself into debt, financial debt, yes, you heard that right, I got myself into financial debt. I just want to say thank you to today's sponsor, Poshmark, for sponsoring today's video. Now, as I mentioned, I'm currently in debt and I need to pay the debt off. I need to sell some stuff from my closet from my personal collection. For those of you who don't know what Poshmark is, Poshmark is basically an app. It's like Instagram where you post photos, but you can actually purchase from that app. That's what basically Poshmark is. It's where people take photos of their stuff and their collection and they show them off, such as luxury items, clothing, makeup and variety of stuff and if you're buying luxury items they will actually authenticate the item if it's over five hundred dollars they're going to authenticate it for you because if you're going to spend half a grand almost they're going to authenticate it and make sure it's legit if you guys want to check out my closet my username is at valerie pierce you can download the app and if you use my username at valerie pierce or valerie pierce you get ten dollars off your first purchase and you can either shop my closet, browse there, or you can browse other brands. Now, I'm going to show you four items that I have currently that is going to be in my closet. One of them is my luxury item that I'm parting because your girl got bills to pay. And I'm also doing the KonMari closet cleaning. I just don't like a cluttered home, but that's just me. Now, the first item that is going in my closet is this Aerith jacket. It's genuine leather. I bought this vintage. I actually had long sleeve, but I actually cut them so I can fold them up. So this is altered. This is really heavy. It's heavy duty. And this is great, especially if you want to wear it outside during the nighttime when it's cooler, maybe around fall. I feel like this is really good for fall and spring. The next item that is going in my closet is this nice little cape that I bought from Hot Topic. It's from the Beauty and the Beast. And I thought I was going to wear this, but I only worn it once. And it was when I'm just like going out there talking to friends outside and then I just came back in. This is the thing in my 20s. I always buy stuff. I'm like, oh, this is cute. I'm going to wear this. But I never end up wearing it. And it's literally sitting in my closet collecting dust. So maybe someone might find better use for this than I have. All right. So one of the items I'm putting in my closet is this little shirt. It's by Anne Klein. So this is going to my closet. I'm selling some of my personal clothes that you've seen me wear on videos that I don't wear anymore. So this is going in my closet. Very nice, very classy, great during spring, parties, events, and also during the summer. Ooh, this is very beachy as well. The next item that I'm selling is my Chanel Double Flap Lambskin Bag. This is my baby. I bought this off of Vestier Collective last year and I love it, but I need to sell it so I can pay off my debt. Now, this is genuine lambskin leather. It's very delicate. You do need to condition it and take good care of it. Now, there comes with an authenticity card in there. This is a vintage double flap bag. It held its shape pretty well over the years, but again, you do need to condition it. There's some rough scuffs on the side here, but nothing noticeable. But yeah, it held its shape over the years. I bought it and they verified it and they authenticated it so I know it's legit. Otherwise, they will not send it to me. If it's not legit, it's from this year Collective. So if you buy luxury items on Poshmark and they're over $500, they actually authenticate it for you. So they will make sure you're getting the real thing. But yeah, so I'm selling this because I need to pay off my debt. So this is my shop right here at Valerie Pierce. And here are the items that I'm currently selling. As you guys can see, it's extremely organized. And if people want to buy your stuff, then they will just submit an offer for you to review. Here are the items. You got to be sure to take good quality photos. So people looking at your stuff will see and be less likely to return it because I had that happen before where I bought something and it doesn't look exactly like in the photos and I had to return it and it's such a hassle and it's really inconvenient for me as a buyer and also as a seller too if you're a seller. So be sure to take a lot of photos so people can see what you're buying and if there are defects, make sure to point them out in the description 
this is my closet and if you see anything you want to buy you can use my username at Valerie Pierce so you can get ten dollars off discount on any item or use it on another closet purchase there are tons of other stuff that you can find whether it's luxury goods to normal daily wear there's also a filtering option here that if you have a specific item you want to find you can click all and you type in what you're looking for this is like my current search options it's always good to compare the prices of what other people are selling too so I'm just gonna click Chanel as a general and here are all the Chanel items that are currently being sold and this is perfect if you want to get like an overview feel of how much people are selling it for so you can see okay if this person is selling it for this much maybe I should dock a few hundred dollars or a few bucks off of my listing so someone would be interested in buying but that's usually what I do I usually compare what other people are selling and sell it for like a tad bit lower or maybe a few hundred lower if I really want to get rid of the item even if your cover photo isn't that great once people click on it they can see the other photos so they have a better idea of what it looks like and for me I like to put in the little sizing as well in the brand just for convenience and if someone has any questions they can leave comments and you can answer them you can share it too so it's very convenient instead of donating it to goodwill try selling it online and get something back it may not be the full price that you paid but at least you're getting something back and what's great especially if you are a teenager you could sell your stuff on poshmark to make some extra side change I could have done that when I was a teenager. I wish Poshmark was around when I was a teenager. I would have been making some money instead of donating and tossing clothes that I don't wear, doesn't fit me anymore, or I never wear. I could have been making money with Poshmark when I was a teenager. Wow. I could have been making bank back in the day. Nowadays could honestly own their own little business on any platform to sell stuff and to do retail and everything everything is online everything is so much more convenient than it was back then oh my gosh i wish poshmark was around when i was a teenager because i got some clothes and jewelry that i don't even wear and i could have just i just feel like i'm 28 years old i should really get my life together and be more responsible with my finances don't buy stupid shit that I'm probably never ever going to use. Use a couple times, not going to use it again, and forget to return the item and I'm stuck with it. That's another thing. Yep. Made a lot of stupid decisions. And for those of you who understand what I'm talking about, you thought you'll buy something to use it or you think it's an investment, but it ended up not. My next step is camera equipment, new lighting new microphones yeah i spent a lot of money flying out on location to film paying actors renting places to film it added quite a lot was it the best decision i made no and i'm paying for it paying for my mistakes that i've made a lot of mistakes camera equipment failed series yeah, it's, it's a lot. I've made a lot of poor choices. I'm selling my stuff and learning and reflecting from the poor choices I made and really taking responsibility in order for me to move on with my life towards that next chapter. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make courage be your wings. Bye.